Good morning and welcome to my new year morning routine. As you guys know, a morning routine is crucial for me to set up my day. So I start by making the bed and then I will go over and sit and just say some gratitude and a prayer for the rest of the day. From there, I'm going to grab my workout clothes on my bed, which I leave them at the end of my bed because I find it so helpful for me to be motivated to work out in the morning when I have them already picked out. First place I will go to is my office. This is where I'm going to create the vibe right when I walk in. So I'll light some candles or open up a window. From there, I love to do this new thing from Mel Robbins I'm trying. She did a podcast on it where you high five yourself. You look at yourself in the mirror and you give yourself a high five. It might look really funny, but I think it's really powerful. I'll link the episode in the description below so you do not think I'm crazy. Next up, we're going to go into the meditation. I like to do this right when I wake up because I find if I save it for later i'll end up pushing it off or i don't end up doing it so doing it right when i wake up is a great way to connect with myself ground myself and really just let myself know i'm here to choose you and to support you and have this moment of silence next up we have my journaling routine Oh, I can't say enough about this part of my morning as well. Again, this takes five minutes. It's so quick. So I write my own prompts, which I will share these with you guys. I wrote some new ones for the new year, especially with the challenge going on. I find these to just set me up for success and an overview of my day. So I do like the word of the day, my self-care act of the day, who I want to send love to, my movement of the day. I'll share this below, but again, this is a huge highlight of my day. Next part of my morning is when I head downstairs, I go straight to get my symbiotic from Seed. If you guys have been with me on this channel long enough, you know I am such a fan of this symbiotic. I had to fill mine up this morning because your girl is about to be on empty. I take two every morning. I started on one and then gradually made it to two. You guys, I really can't stress enough of how important a symbiotic is to have in your routine. It supports so many things like your digestive health, your skin health, which I needed, your heart health, your gut immune function, which I needed, and I really am just a supporter of this symbiotic. Something that I did not know before I started taking it to seed is most probiotics don't actually make it to your colon alive and seed actually has a technology that ensures the bacteria survives and stays viable throughout your digestion and makes it to your colon. I would highly recommend to anyone to go onto seed site and read it for yourself. You can learn so much of why a symbiotic is something that is so essential in everyone's routine. Really, I think it's just a step towards your overall well-being by taking a symbiotic every day. The amount of stories I've heard from you guys or friends of how much seed has helped them in their daily routine is why I want to share my journey with it and make sure that you guys are super aware of how a symbiotic can really help you. So I'm going to leave a little code as well. You can use it in checkout and yeah. Good morning. Good morning. And welcome to my morning routine um, that you guys have been in for a second. I always feel like I'm gonna regret when I film this in real time because, which is great, I wanna film it in real time, but I can barely speak in the morning. I'm not the girl who wakes up and can have a full conversation, not me. That is JT, he wakes up, it takes him a second, but once he is awake, he's asking me the craziest questions right when we get up. And he tries to be funny and it's like too early to be funny. He's like, wake up, it's time for lunch. And I'm just like still in my dream. Or he'd be like, what's for lunch today? Like, no, but the Celsius should kick in pretty quick here. I only recently started drinking these 
and I take about 10 sips because the coffee is the most important thing to me. But for me, I don't know if this is with anyone else. I probably should put on my shoes and like get to it, but I don't know if it's for anyone else. I love to enjoy like every sip of my coffee. I just savor it. I enjoy like kind of working with it. And I only really have one cup a day. Two a day is like wild for me. So I really like appreciate that one cup that it's way too early right now to start having a cup of coffee like just not a thing because again then i wouldn't be able to enjoy it and i like to get in my workout pretty early so that i do not tap out because i find for myself with how i stay motivated how i continue doing my movement one of the biggest ways is by doing it the same time every day. I find if I do not do that, then I'm like, oh, I'll just do it later. And then I just keep pushing it and pushing it and pushing it. And honestly too, my vibe changes so quickly after I'm out of a workout. Like even this morning, I kind of woke up a little in my head, even when I was meditating. I just felt like, okay, today you're a little bit more in your head which is so okay. Again, be kind to yourself like you would to someone else. It is so okay, but it should, I'm just in my head. And I was like, cool, I know this workout is gonna just like zoop, get me out of my head because I have to focus on the movement and I start to connect with my body and it's just game over after that. So I think I love to get it done early in the morning. Again, this just gives me a little boost for me to feel a little like, wake my muscles you're awake i only take like 10 sips and then jt will either have some and i kind of just leave it out for grabs in the household forever whoever wants the rest of it and then i'll go into my coffee so that's my whole spiel of why i'm drinking some sips of this but it should kick in in a second and i should be able to talk better all right my loves let's see what's on the sketch today i am in the january challenge right now so with that being said which again if you are new here i am doing a january challenge 14 day meal plan 14 day of workouts which if you are doing it please comment below because i'm having the time of my life with this like <laughs> i know i planned it but i'm really proud of myself and this community for fully like pushing me to do this challenge you guys were the ones that gave me this idea and now i'm like i want to do so many more of these because also side note you can jump in at any time it's not like you had to start on the same time it's up it's live in form but having like my workouts and my meals planned out for me is something special i know every day like what i'm eating and what i'm doing but to have it planned out feels amazing i'm learning new recipes from mia like I'm having the time of my life. So is JT. He's like, he's really in it. He's going to do the workout with me tomorrow. The full body. If you did want to get your guys involved, I would say full body is like one of the best days to bring your partner in, your dad, like whoever it is. Okay. So today is 30 minute curls and core. So we're doing some upper body and some core. Every single workout, you guys, is 30 minutes. And that is something I've found so ideal as well. For me, it's it's a little bit different. My mindset is really just focused on getting that movement in, in an efficient amount of time or in a convenient amount of time with an efficient workout though, like something that's actually gonna tone and build muscle but not have to be in the gym for a really long time is something i've just really tried to master and i feel like yeah it's it's doing well so i'm just enjoying the 30 minutes after the 30 minutes i will also add a five minute abs if i'm feeling it that was something that was a game changer for me when i was really trying to build my foundation like build a stronger core see results consist continuously consistently my words this morning consistently doing core was so beneficial obviously you guys nutrition is number one with having to see results that is why i attached the meal plan with the workouts i think i've showed you guys this before but i'm gonna pop up an image here this is so not part of the morning routine but here it goes here goes sammy i'm gonna pop up an image here to show you guys this was me working out but not eating right 
And again, totally really up to you, what you want to feel, what you want to see, all of that. And for me right here, I was working out because I loved moving my body. I did it since I was younger. My dad really prioritized it. But when it was my time to start choosing nutritious meals because I didn't have my mom like guiding me or helping me, I didn't choose the healthy route and it fully showed through my skin, it showed through my body, it showed through my energy, it showed through my mental state. I just see such a change with my nutrition. So that is something I would highly recommend and which is why it's included in the January challenge. This is kicking in. Okay, I'm gonna go into the workout, get into the zone. Let's do this. Got my big jug of water, all of the hydration. Goal is to drink this full thing today i already drank like i refilled it as you guys saw so i already drank a good portion for um when i woke up i'm now procrastinating sammy let's go Ugh. yo it's me what up everyone just checking in here stealing sam's camera to just say i'm really proud of her and love her and she's just a great partner and just a great role model and uh yeah if i can take over her vlog for a second and just say uh love you babe later all right so my goal is to be in my garage at 8 a.m. every morning and it's 7.59 so we're on a good start and then I'll show you guys my goal is to be out of here by no later than 8.40 and that's with like stretching and any extra things I want to do in here so that is the time I'm giving myself 8 a.m. Another tip that I was just thinking about when I'm pulling up my workout on my computer is I churn on do not disturb. I do this on my phone. I still have not opened my phone and turned off the do not disturb. And I find this so beneficial. I know everyone can't do it with their jobs. So if you can for a certain amount of time, I highly recommend it. Even while I'm working out, like I don't want to see text popping up, emails popping up, like this is my time. So if there is any way that you can do that, I highly, highly, highly recommend it because now in this workout all i'm thinking about is the workout i'm not thinking about like oh jessica texted me this and i gotta do this today it's like that can wait this is my time and this comes with organization though i will say this comes with the night before prepping for my day today that i'm not like is there something due? Do I need to do this? It's like, I know my schedule today and I know what time my calls are. So as long as like that is planned out for me, I don't have anxiety of having my phone on Do Not Disturb. So I would highly recommend it. Okay, here we go. How's it going? I haven't even talked to you. Good, I'm sore. Definitely. Yeah. I'm sore. I'm sore too. And honestly, I've been talking to a lot of people and they're like, I'm so sore. And I'm like, I feel like it's just also to the holidays. You haven't gone like, no one's gone really hard. So like these workouts, it's not like they're like the most insane things ever. I think it's just like everyone's body's like, whoa, we're really back in it. <laughs> Well, for me, yeah, that's probably it for a lot of your followers. But for me, I haven't, like, been, like, you know, 
going hard at all. I've been just going down. I do a little bit of what you you know you've got there, or I just don't do anything but my own little thing, just a few things. And I'm just like, okay, I'm doing this serious, and I'm like, okay, I'm in this, doing the whole 40 minutes or whatever. 30 yeah. Minutes. Post-workout, I head straight to the kitchen and make myself a post-workout smoothie. While I sip on that, I'm going to unload the dishwasher and clean up the kitchen. Something I am working on tremendously is keeping my kitchen and really my home more organized. If you guys don't know this about me, I am a hoarder, so I'm trying to minimalize my life and also just keep it super organized. It helps me be more creative, feel more fresh and ready for the day, and setting a timer for 10 minutes, playing some music is one of my favorite ways to do that. Lastly, I will now get ready for my day, so I'm going to throw on an outfit and jump into the day. All right, my loves, this is the end of the video. Now I'm gonna finish getting ready for my day. This is the time where I did my whole morning routine. Now going to get dressed, obviously I'm dressed, and then do my makeup and have my day. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, make sure you subscribe so you know when my channels are live and let me know what you guys want to see next. And I love you.